Translational science is really amazing and uh, deeply satisfying because the chemistry and the biology that I learned in high school and all the way through college and grad school, now I can use those science to actually help people and even save lives. So that has been really rewarding and uh, satisfying. Um, it's almost like working in a movie, a sci-fi movie to try to help out. Hi, my name is Ch Dr. Chang Hee Kim. I'm the CEO of GoDX, a company in Madison, Wisconsin. And our vision is to uh, democratize uh, diagnostics by making diagnostics more affordable and available to people uh, everywhere. We're developing rapid, low cost, uh, point of care uh, tests for COVID that can be used anywhere without uh, sending samples to the lab, uh, which can take several days for people to get a result in the meanwhile, infecting uh, uh, other people. Uh, the interesting thing that we found was that there's so many ways to improve the current methods of testing for COVID. Uh, for example, most of the tests use nasal swabs, but we found that uh, saliva can also be used so that uh, sidesteps having to wait for uh, nasal swabs, which are in very short supply right now. We work at a university research park where there are many other companies working on research, but we found that uh, the parking lots are pretty vacant right now. You know, not many companies are working in the lab, except for the essential companies like ours, which is developing a test for COVID. Um, and there's also some uncertainty, uncertainty and fear that uh, the labs might shut down at some point, sometime, because somebody might get infected. In fact, most of the university labs are shut down and you know, many people can't get into the labs. Um, and now we have to always prepare to order, order reagents and supplies and materials in advance because a lot of these uh, reagents and supplies are in back order or in short supply. There's a big gap between uh, basic research that's done on the bench and uh, what people, the patients can actually uh, use uh, for you know, testing or drugs. And translational science really bridges that gap you know, between the latest, most innovative research discoveries that are made on the lab, in the lab, and getting those uh, discoveries into the clinic 